Okay guys, here we have, it's a little over eight pound eye of round roast. We're gonna make this into some delicious sandwiches, but first I'm gonna be adding some BT Lee something for rubbing and some fresh garlic and thyme. Let me get this trimmed up and we'll be back. <laughs> Here we got it. it's all trimmed up. It's looking wonderful. And now I'm gonna put some oil down. It needs a little fat. I took it all off. When you slice the roast beef, you don't want that fat because it's we don't like it. And I'm gonna take some the BT leaves something for rubbing. Just Put good amount of seasoning, it's what we like. More seasoning. We've tried several things for our roast beef, and so far. This is one of our favorites for the flavor. Get all that nice and good. And take that garlic, fresh chopped, minced, whatever garlic. And some thyme. Push it down in there. And I'm going to do the other side and we'll be back. All right, y'all. Cheers. While my beautiful's in there getting this uh, this meat ready, <laughs> I'm out here in the lab getting these guys ready. Going down on one, finishing on the other. It's gonna be fun. Team Char Griller right now. Let's see what they got. Let go. All right, y'all. I'm trying to get this thing crazy hot let's see how hot we are oh yeah that's definitely going to work let me get this thing oiled up and we get ready to move on all right see you soon all right so i hope you guys can hear me my neighbor uh we back in the yard <laughs> right as i started getting this week so uh get this glove on here Show you what the plan is. I know this thing is killer hot. Is that what I thought? Put some oil on it. Show you what we got. Yep. Quite sure I have to tell you all about the smell. Check it out. Alright y'all, so my lid's up. That's because this is a big pump. So we're gonna flip it over and check the sear out. So I'm gonna do this side, and I'm gonna roll it over to the sides, top and the bottom. All right, back. All right, Joe. Sorry for the uh, silence. I was waiting. I want you guys to see. What I was talking about, about that sear going all the way around the meat. 
That's what we want. So now we're going to got the sear on the flat iron. Now we're coming over here to the Gravity 980. And I'm going to take this guy. So that you guys can see it. You take this, we're going to go right here in the middle, up top. 375 degrees. Alright? Then what I want to do, I'm just going to take a pan of uh, beef broth. We're going to go right underneath. And you can use that to make some good al you know what I mean? And that's it. We'll put a probe in it in a minute. Take it up to about 125, 130 degrees, and uh, let it rest. It'll be time to slice. See you in a minute. All right, y'all. Cheers. I'm here. Just gonna take a peek. So you guys can check me out. Right? See what we're doing. All right. Char griller. Pin to 375. That 73, 71, 73, whatever. That is the internal temp after the uh, sear. My phone seems to work pretty good. It's, it's kind of dark out here, but not. It's dark in the grill. It's actually showing. But, uh, I just want you guys to see what we're looking at. All right. I'm going to take this up to about 125. 125 to 130. We'll let it rest, and then we'll uh, slice it up. Then you guys can see all the goodies. All the goodies. The goodies. We'll bring it back. Be good. All right, fam. Let's uh, let's get in here. I have it set for uh, 125 degrees. According to the pro, we were at 122. But what I want to do is look with the instant read. I usually don't trust these probes on any grill. Um, so we're gonna use an instant read and get some readings here. Got 116 here, 115. Like I said, where it's at here is at 122. And that, that's that's accurate. So here, that's an end piece. I'm not really worried about that too much, but that claim is 141. You see it dropping. So I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm actually going to pull this off. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to pull it off. I'm just going to drop it in the pan underneath and uh, let it rest. I'll let you guys see it after the rest period. Alright, see you in a minute. The ketchup sauce, I'll call it. You just put everything in the pot, mix it up real good, and then you let it simmer down until it's the thickness that you like, and voila. All right, y'all. We're about to see what we did. Cheers to you. All right. Got Tiff's blade, man. We got like matching knives, but this is our favorite one. Because it's the best. That's coming through good on camera. Got some hella color. Nice sear. Now I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna pull this out of here, and I'm gonna cut it in half. We're keeping all of that. That's that good stuff right there. Do not get rid of that. Beauty. It's a beauty. Don't be oh, you already know you're beautiful. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do is cut this in half, and then we're just going to move on to the next step. So. so, y'all can see what we're working with. Alright, and y'all see that little drip on the counter? I will be hearing that in a minute. There she is. Go. All right, so now we know what we're working with. Let's uh, go finish this up. All right, y'all, right, we are here 
at the uh, Bestwood 10 inch. Uh, it's time to get the slice. Yep. Yeah. Hold on. Let's get the slice on this thing. Uh, the wrong it's been a while, y'all. It's been a while. What the hell was it? The papering. Very good. How you slice this thing? Nice and thin. Like I said, I can't see anything. Yeah. Well, you're right. Me, uh, see, I'm on, a, I'm on a crazy angle. Just so y'all can get a little peek. Yeah, we're having some issues here. Just so you guys can see what's going on here. And into the all you it goes. And we'll continue. And y'all will see how it looks when it's complete. All right, guys, I'm going to try to give you my point of view. All right. I want you guys to see exactly what I'm seeing. Y'all see that? This is, uh, it's on the half setting. Like I said, this is the best wood, uh, 10 inch. And you can see through the light. You can see the light right through it. Paper thin. It's gonna make some good eating, baby. All right.
Fresh 